Hi, this is Gary with Austin Roofing Contractors. And we're here today on a roof that we're putting on a standing seam metal roof. But what our focus is on today is the underlayment and how we make a watertight underlayment and then a watertight roof system. So here's the panels, uh, the multiple panels that the guys have uh, got pre-cut to size and uh, they've got a diagram that they go by uh, for these panels. So uh, what, they're, what they're doing is they're using the panels that are made for each area. They're cutting them and uh, putting them in place where they go. And the part that actually cuts off of some of these panels flip over and go in an opposite corner. I'm not sure that makes a lot of sense, but uh, you've got to get it where the, uh, the panels are all running the same direction. Here is that chimney one more time. You can see where the cut is, so the metal actually goes up behind the um, underlayment, which is the black part. And then new wire screen goes on, and the stucco guy will come and put a, a weep screed on the bottom and uh, hold it up off of the metal about an inch and a half. Uh, so the metal will actually go behind that chimney. A B-vent pipe is actually a heater pipe or water heater uh, that has gas. Um, to make it hot. And so the water heater pipes are a little bit different character. We've got a sub flashing. This is for the underlayment. You can see that it goes under the underlayment. Any water that hits it comes on top of the underlayment here. So if you ever had enough condensation underneath these metal panels, uh, that's not going to drip through and create a problem to the wood or into the house. This is actually underneath the metal panels. Now what happens next is you're going to see a metal panel come up, go around this pipe, and then another flashing incorporates with the metal roof and goes around that. It's going to be exciting to see that because this is what keeps a roof 100% waterproof, uh, both from condensation and watertight for life. We're not going to be rel relying on caulk. We're not going to be relying on uh, a little bit of luck or a short-term roof. This roof will actually last 30, 40, 50 years because it's going to be watertight. This is Gary with Austin Roofing Contractors.